Yo, what is good guys? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another reaction video and uh, Yeah, guys as you can tell from the title down below we are gonna be reacting to our boy our homie Finish that man finish that man. We're gonna be reacting to a no life shack video and this video uh, Shack titled it this had to be said and uh, in parentheses he put I hope y'all understand and I'm not gonna lie, I heard a little bit of this um, prior to uh, getting everything set up, ready to go for this reaction. So I already have an idea, already know what Shaq is gonna be talking about. But um, anyway, without further ado, guys, like to hear, here go. What's good, no like gang? It's your boy, it's your homie, it's your. Finish that, man. Finish that, man. Hey, bruh. Y'all saw the title of this video, man. By the way, by the way, y'all, y'all, y'all see what's on the back of this jersey, right? Do, oh, that's sick, that? dude. That's sick. <laughs> this ain't no regular jersey. This my age right here, and we got no light shack on the back. <laughs> Shout out clean. LSU for winning that ship. Hey, but anyway, man, bruh. I wanted to make this video before somebody else did, but this affairs me TV. That's my guy. He came out with it first. He made a video about the community, man. The 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 YouTube community, the reactioners, uh, the reactors, the YouTube rappers, the fans. He was addressing it all in his video, right? And he was basically saying how the how the community is. It, 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 it's, it's so fake right now and it's toxic and bro and i agree with him a thousand percent and that makes two of us it is a very toxic community you know what i mean especially when you have dummies who making a uh, diss tracks you know what i'm saying and not really realizing what they're saying before they say it and they tend to go too far however a lot of what you hear in diss tracks nowadays though it's nothing compared to this tracks that we've heard from years past you know what i mean but we're gonna go ahead we're gonna give our man here the uh, benefit of the doubt and uh, let him finish his his thoughts here now look i recorded reactions to round one now as did i like like this offends me tv said in his video he say this tracks was fun when the YouTube beef was going, it was fun at first. And it was fun. But then... I disagree. Diss tracks are never fun. Because they well, they may be fun at first. But then when it comes to topping your first diss track, the only place you can go is somewhere more personal. So I don't care what anyone says. Diss tracks, they're, they're never fun. The more diss tracks come out, the more bored you get with it. It it, it gets it gets stagnant, bro. Right? It stays in one place. Pretty much the gone versus screw face um, diss tracks. They I'll admit gone's diss tracks. Although his second one, like I said, I feel like it's his best one. I just uploaded um, a video for his third one, and. Um, I'll let you guys see my reaction there. I won't go into it too much, but uh, yeah, just just check out that the, the uh, third one, man. My my reaction to his third this track it says it all. Everybody says the same thing about everybody. That is true. Both Gone and Screwface are guilty of this. All they've done is repeat the same points. They just worded it differently towards each other. And I understand that the fans love it. I understand the fans love it. They they like the entertainment. But And that's the thing too. I try to view this tracks as more uh, entertainment. That's why I try to add to the entertainment by poking fun at the beef between Screwface and Gone because really I don't feel like it's all that serious. I mean, cause the way I see it, social media it makes everybody soft, including rappers. Especially rappers today that are trying to do diss tracks. It's made you all a bunch of fucking girls. 
posting your freaking tweets. Like people care to see what you you're you're tweeting each other. You know what I mean? Or um, on Instagram, what you're doing to each other on Instagram. It's all fucking soft ass high school drama bullshit. You know what I mean? It's. I mean, I'm not saying I want people to go out of their way and finish each other off or anything like that, but I don't feel like the diss tracks today are as serious as they used to be. That's just my opinion. For some reason with this last one between Screw and Luke, something, something just didn't seem right to me with it. And I only reacted to round one because everybody kept spamming me with it and all. Uh, Everybody was like, Shaq, you late, you late, you late. I was low-key late on purpose, bro. I was late on purpose. Same here. I was I was late on purpose, too, because I didn't feel like it was that big of a deal. And like I said, I don't think it's really all that serious. And um, I'm, I'm going to continue to follow it. Um, although, when Screw puts out his third response, if Screw decides to put out his third response, I'm going to react to it. And then that's going to be the end of it. It's only going to be a three-round deal. You know what I'm saying? And if they continue to go back and forth with each other after that, I'm not. I'm done. It's only up to round three, and that's it. I'm done. You know what I'm saying? Because, it, like I said, I don't think it's that serious. And uh, Luke did something that Shaq is going gonna, is gonna to mention in this video. that, And uh, I'm going to tell you guys when after he mentions it how I feel about what Luke did and... Who actually deserves the W and who actually deserves the L? Okay, it may, you guys may be surprised by um, both those answers as to who deserves which. Cause I, I really didn't want to react to it because oh, uh, people people tell me a lot of stuff that happens before I even like see the video. They'll tell me, oh, uh, my name was mentioned, or they'll tell me a certain line in the in the song, and I just be here like. I just be sitting here like, man, bro, why is my name in it, bro? So that's one reason I didn't want to react to it because people always put my name in they in they in they songs, like. And that's one thing that that I've noticed too, and that really pisses me off. Hold up. Why is Shaq's name being mentioned in diss tracks? You know what I mean? And it really pissed me off when Screw mentioned Crit in his diss tracks. And um, it pissed me off too as much when Gon mentioned Crypt in his diss track. I just didn't understand that. And I thought that, that was some, some punk shit. You know what I mean? Unless these guys have something to do with it, leave them out of it. Like in they beef, I have nothing to do with none of this. I haven't met nobody on YouTube in person but Crip and Vinjay and Mama Crip and oh uh, and Vinjay uh cameraman. Them the only people I ever met on YouTube. I, I don't I haven't met nobody else. Now I'm cool with everybody around the YouTube community. I'm cool with everybody. As all us reactors should be. We should just be cool with Everybody, you know what I mean? And I know some people are going to comment down below, but man, you've been leaning into Screw and all this and that. Well, hey, look, man, I'm just letting y'all know how, how I feel about Screw and his lyrical abilities and um, the way he goes in on certain rappers, you know what I mean? Because I don't agree with that at all. So y'all can take that at, at, for what it is. You know what I mean? I, I don't have a problem with, with Screw personally as a person. I just don't like him or care for him as a rapper because I don't think he's that good. And that's just my opinion everybody but when my name get thrown in stuff like it throw me off bro i don't even want to check it out because i ain't got nothing to do with nothing mm -hmm. i'm cool with everybody bro everybody i got this by one dude since i've been on youtube and i have no idea who this dude is <laughs> and y'all made him delete his channel that well he took the video down y'all made him take the video down but i agree with todd man like this whole screw and Luke, man, like it's, it don't went left with me, man. I don't even want to, I don't, I haven't even heard the other tracks yet. And I was going to react to them, but I was thinking after the first one, I was like, bro, I really don't want to react to it. Because I don't want it to get no worse. 
I see Screw on uh on uh Twitter saying he saw my reaction. He think he he stay for I clear stuff up. Like bro, that's what it's all about, bro. It ain't about going against each other. Now if it's friendly competition and see who rap better, I'm all for it. Same here. I'm all for friendly competition because that's what rap and hip hop was built on. I'm with it. But like this one right here is getting a little, it got a little too sticky for me, man. Like it's a bunch of fake stuff going on behind the scenes, bro. And I just sit back and I see it all. I see it all, man. And oh, I got to I got to hold I got to hold myself accountable. I got to hold y'all accountable. I got to hold other people in the community accountable. We are as do I. I got to hold myself accountable too for the way I uh, reacted to these tracks and the way I reacted to both these guys. But like I said, y'all going to be surprised when Shaq gets to the point as to what Luke did on social media and where I stand as far as who deserves the L, who deserves the W. All responsible for it going this far, if, if, if that make any sense. I should have never reacted to round one. Because now people think I'm on their side. When I'm on nobody's side. I'm and me, I'm still going to react to them. Because like I said, I don't think that they're that serious. And again, that's just me. You know what I mean? Again, social media. I'm sorry, but it's made a lot of us soft. I'm just saying. Like I said, I, that doesn't mean I want people to hurt each other. Like physically or whatever the case. It's just, if you really got beef with someone, you know what I'm saying? Go go see them, go talk to them, you know what I'm saying, and see what y'all can work out, whatever the hell, you know what I mean, if it's that serious. If it ain't that serious, then man, why don't you just leave each other alone then, you know what I mean? I'm just judging the bars. The fans, for the fan, the, bro, the, bro, y'all, bro, y'all, boy, y'all know how to get a diss track out of people, bro. That's all I got to say, man. But... I agree with Todd, man. Like it, it, it's getting real. It's making this look bad as a as a unit, bro. Like we are all supposed to be together. That's one reason Crip created the YouTube ciphers, man, for all the talent to be shown under one video. That's what Crip made the ciphers for. Like if you if you been paying attention, like that's what the ciphers do. The ciphers bring everybody together. It brings out new collabs. People want to work with certain people after they hear their verse. Like, it's all new people on the new cypher, bro. I don't know everybody. I know a couple names that's on it. I don't know everybody. And I think Crip said that this third cypher that he's working on is going to be the final one, which sucks because I would love to be on a cypher with Crip and uh, a lot of these other cats, too. You know what I mean? But uh, who knows? We'll see what happens. But that's what the YouTube cypher do, man. Like, and I saw, like uh, Todd said, I saw people bashing Crip for winning the popping challenge. Huh? Mm -hmm. People want, people wanted the beef to keep going between Crip and KSI. Bro, them boys ain't got no beef. That was never no real beef. How y'all gonna bash Crip for winning the popping? Because some sick motherfuckers are, are addicted to the drama. They love the drama. Thanks to this quarantine life. That's all people want to see now is, is more drama because it gives them something to watch. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what happened to the, to the good old days of just watching people succeed? You know what I mean? And making good quality shit. You know what I mean? Being at this quarantine, quarantine time right now, it's lockdown time. This is a time to really show your skills. You know what I mean? And really see people, you know, put their skills out there. You know what I'm saying? To see what they can what they can really do with their skills, you know what I mean? And push themselves, you know, beyond their limits, you know what I mean? Push themselves outside of their comfort zone. But people love drama, man. That's a great opportunity for Crip and his brand. What he got going on? Yep. KSI's one of the biggest YouTubers on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Love it or hate it, that, that's fact. That's a good look for Crip and KSI. KSI finna finally not have no mumble rappers on this track. The remix is gonna be better than the original. I'm telling you right now. Mm -hmm. But overall, that's a win for... Speaking of mumble rappers, y'all gotta see that the new track Screw put out. For Crip, man, y'all should be applauding. You gotta pay attention to who clap when you winning, bro. That's what I meant to tell Crip. You gotta pay attention to who... Clap when you winning, bro. Them are your real fans. Now, 
Another thing I wanted to address. Another reason I didn't want to finish the diss tracks, and I know I know some of y'all gonna be mad because I'm not gonna react to them. Hey Shaq, it's all good, man. Do you just do you? Who cares how people feel about what you what you react to and what you don't react to? You know what I mean? Just like you told Crip, you know, to pay attention to those who applaud who applaud you. You gotta take your own advice and pay attention to those who applaud you as well. I'm just saying. But Luke ended up blocking. Luke ended up blocking Shizzy and Screw. Now, right here, I, as I, as I late mentioned, I was gonna, I was gonna tell y'all who I feel deserves an L and a W. Now, despite what I said in my past reaction videos, since Luke went this far and blocked both. Six seconds and screw. I'm sorry, Luke gone if you're watching this, but bruh, you deserve the L now in this beef. You basically handed the W over to both six seconds and screw. So yeah, as much as I hate to say it, much as it pains me to admit it, I gotta give the W to screw. Because you know, you got all, all in your in your in your fifis and to a point to where you block these dudes on, on you block these guys on social media rather than trying to squash shit. You deserve it now for that one, bro, because you look like the weaker the weaker person for doing what you did. On Twitter. So by default, I feel like if he had to block them boys, I don't know what his reason for, but like on the outside looking in. If he had to block them, like, the beef is over, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, Screw can take his W. Uh, Shizzy can take his W if that's how you want to look at it. Mm -hmm. But after he blocked them boys, I knew I wasn't going to react to it then. Which means that since Screw put out a new song and since Luke blocked them, then there's really no point for Screw to put out an, another response. Screw gets the W by, by default. I agree with Shaq on that. I knew it was getting... I already felt like it was personal. I already felt like it was personal, but when he blocked them, like, I knew it got personal. It's a lot going on that the fans don't know about. Uh, Luke feel like he got betrayed. Like, it, it's, it's all kind of emotions in it, so that's when I knew, like, bro, this, I'm going to sit this one out, bro. Even though I reacted to And that's the thing about, about rap battles, man. You can't be all in your feels, man. You can't be all in your fucking fifis, dude. If you're going to go in on somebody, you're going to battle somebody, you better make sure you got the backbone, you know what I mean, to really go in on somebody. If you're not prepared mentally, emotionally to do that kind of stuff, then you know what? Don't even bother battling somebody. Just stay in your lane and do you. Around what? And, and, and reactors, when this tracks come out, that's that's a win for reactors because we our pages be lit mm -hmm. when this tracks come out because we can monetize the vids. Y'all can. It, it's, it's people around the community they don't copyright it, so we can we can make money. The fans be talking, they find new pages, they find new perspectives mm -hmm. on what's going on. But for the most part, it's a win for reactors. Like, mm -hmm. I don't care, bro. I don't care about the new fans. I don't care about the money. Like, I care about keeping everybody together. That's what I always try to do. I just be... This, this is what I like about, about, about Shaq, you know what I'm saying? He's all about just, you know, giving everybody a fair chance, you know what I'm saying? And wants everybody to work together rather than going up against each other, you know what I'm saying? I got to respect Shaq for that, you know what I mean? Guy has a has a good heart, you know what I'm saying? He's a hard worker, he's a dedicated person, he's got a good heart, you know what I'm saying? This is the reason why I follow Shaq, you know what I mean? He's one of the good ones, you know what I mean? Shout out to you, No Life Shaq, you know what I mean? If you're watching this, he, I highly doubt he'll watch this, but just in case, man, shout out, bro. Respect, respect. Be having fun with the diss tracks, because the diss tracks used to be fun. They used to be fun to do, but this one just didn't sit right with me. I hope y'all understand why I'm not reacting to the the, the other diss tracks. I'm going to go listen to them, but I'm not going to comment on them. I'm not going to post them on my channel. I'm not going to tweet about them. Because I don't want nobody to feel like Shaq on their side. I'm on nobody's side, bro. I rock with no life gang, bro. That's who it always been. Me and y'all, bro. This is our channel. 
But man, hope y'all understand where I'm coming from, man. Thank you, Ty. Offends me, TV. Y'all go sub to him. He's one of the realest on the platform. He ain't got the biggest channel, but bro, being real is going to take you a long way. And I respect you to the utmost for making that vid, bro, because I 100% agree with you. I stand behind you on that. I'm gone. All right, guys, so that was No Life Shack with uh, This Had To Be Said. Hope y'all understand. And, uh, yeah, I do understand. I get where, where he's coming from. Um, like I said, some of uh, what he said here about this tracks and beefs I do agree with. Uh, some of which, uh, some of the points he made about this stuff I disagree with. You know what I'm saying? Um, this tracks are never fun. You know what I'm saying? But my thing is, hey, if you're going to battle, man, then you need to be prepared you know what I mean, for someone to try to hurt you, you know what I mean, to try to hurt your feelings, you know what I'm saying, and if you're not built for that, then you shouldn't be battle rapping, that's just, that's just my advice when it comes to stuff like that, unless you're prepared, you know, for, for everything that comes with battle rapping, you know what I'm saying, my advice would be to stay, stay out of battle rapping and just do you, stay in your lane, you know what I mean, and that's pretty much it. If you can handle it, go for it. If not, I I would suggest not doing it. But hey, what what is it that that I always say when it comes to other people and how they live their lives? It's their life. It's their decision. So they do whatever they they can do whatever they want. It's their right. You know what I mean? But um, I also understand where Shaq is coming from when he said when it comes to the community though. You know what I mean? We we should be trying to build this thing together. You know what I'm saying? Which I'm all for. You know what I mean? And um, uh, yeah, totally with him on that. 100 percent you know what i'm saying and uh yeah i think it's messed up too how people are going going in on crip because he won the popping challenge you know what i'm saying you gotta let people do them you gotta let people you know grow as an artist you gotta let people evolve as an artist you know what i'm saying you gotta let these people build you know what i mean i don't know man so i i rather help people grow help people build than to try to bring people down just because they just because they do something that you don't agree with i mean that, that shouldn't be a reason for you to you to betray that person that you were one time a fan of but now are showing your your true colors by basically saying you're not really a fan because you know what i mean you should be supporting the homie no matter what he does you know what i'm saying and if if crip wants to wants to build a a bigger name for himself he should be uh it should be no problem for us to support him in wanting to do that. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, I hope Crip does another cipher. And like I said, I would like to be on a cipher. You know what I'm saying? Um, but obviously, I don't have a big enough following for people to pay attention to me. So I ain't going to hold my breath on that. I'm just going to continue to do me. You know what I'm saying? Stay in my lane. Still react. Still do some original uh, music and all that other fun stuff. And guys, if you're feeling me, if you're feeling this reaction... You know what I'm saying? Be sure to let me know with the thumbs up, thumbs down, down below, as well as leaving uh, your feedback and insights in the comment section down below. And if you're new here, welcome. Thank you for your view. Very much appreciate it. Hopefully, you'll consider subscribing to the channel so you can be part of the Jason JV family. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and SoundCloud. And uh, if you want to help support the channel and help me grow the channel, um, you can do so by um, buying some original music uh, from my CD Baby store. It's all digital download. You know what I'm saying? And uh, all the proceeds are going to go back towards the channel. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah. All that fun stuff, guys. And until the next one, it is your boy, Jason JV. Saying y'all take care. And I'll catch you guys later in the next one. All right? Peace.